I just bought this abandoned Minecraft base for $100,000. And today we're going to see if we can transform this actually good base into an even better base and walk away with millions in profit. So on the inside of this base, we do have a basement and we do have an unfurnished upstairs. And I like it. It's got great windows, although they're not exactly usable. And then downstairs, we have virtually zero windows. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to push this all right. All right, we're going to start off with a picture frame window right here. And then this entire wall can become a picture frame window, which actually gives you a beautiful view of that mountain right outside your backyard. And I think we're going to do some landscaping too. Why? What in the world? This is like weirdly uneven. Bro just brought pillars down for no reason. What in the world is this? A secret room under a staircase? I guess we're going to have to do these like weird side by side picture frames and see how they look. It doesn't have to be exactly even for it to look good. It just has to like have a nice view. Uh, okay. So he's got an outdoor furnace room that goes up to the chimney. It actually looks really nice. But what I'm going to do here instead is. And Instead of deleting this, you get a double side furnace. That's okay with me. This back wall though does need some sort of, I don't know, some sort of statement piece. Let's get rid of these two. Let's see. I mean, like for me, it's like, I want to come in. I want to be wowed. Bam. I want something amazing here. So let me go ahead and do some research on what rich people's basements look like. Well, I can make that happen here. All right. I got some ideas. I'm going to go through and actually take out all of these basic pillars. What I also want to do is actually replace the entire floor here. For this modern interior, I'm going to buy some white concrete for 20 well, that was expensive. Maybe modern isn't the right idea, but I'm going to see if I can merge old and new. I want to really try a farmhouse exterior with a modern interior. Problem is, uh, if white concrete is 27,000 each, I may have extremely messed up. If I bought powder, what's that cost me? It is 13,000. So I could do powder, then come over with a little water at the end and cover that up and turn it into something else. I think that's going to be an option for us. Actually, you know what? It might be interesting if we took it down a notch. We're going to need more concrete powder. I'll tell you that right now. All right. We have spent an immense amount of money already, dude, just on the flooring in here. If I break this wall, I'm pretty sure. Oh, well, I guess I could do that. Oh, wait, wait, it's double layered. That's actually so weird. This might be the perfect build for this. And then this could become our wall, which is probably also going to need to be white. All right, I want to build a farm in this area to the right of the house. I got these barrels and I'm thinking we can use these somehow to make a sweet berry farm because I think I remember Loverfella doing that in the past. So we're going to go for a berry sweet berry farm. Let's try white concrete then on the wall as well. So I like that a lot. We're going to get some water. I need to go back to, oh, wait, I have five buckets on me. Now now we'll get some water. I like this. Farm with modern. Do we have any water around here by chance? I don't know, Zach. I'm trying to make an aesthetic farm out here. I want it to look beautiful. I'm stealing some water from the neighbor. To be able to pull it off with the exterior, it has got to be like one of the weirdest bases you've ever seen. The, the only problem is you kind of lose square footage in here when you have to like... No, you don't. No, you don't because he double layered the walls. Really? The back needs to be like a window. Like imagine two giant picture windows. You look in this farmhouse and inside you see this crazy cozy warm modern inside. I think it's brilliant. I like it. You need to get some different colored glass maybe. That could be interesting. All right, guys, I have built the little sweet berry barrels. This is where you put all the berry juice. And then I have these little trellises right here that we're just going to plant the berries around. And this is going to be our little decorative sweet berry farm. Now, I don't want to hurt the exterior, but for here, let's take it all the way up. And this is going to give you a view on the inside, which I want to like glow at nighttime. All right, let's get this sucker plugged up here. Since we're using regular oak wood, the problem is if I use oak here, it's not going to look modern enough. So I need like a totally different block for stairs. I feel like quartz would be really awesome. I could make a little bit, I guess. We'll make some quartz slabs. That gives us 30 of these bad boys. Because like, you know what I'm thinking, guys, is when you go to like a modern house, sometimes they got those like really cool floaty stairs. So if I can pull off those like stairs that are floating on the inside, I think we could pop it in like right here. Staircase now goes in here. Something like this. This is weird, guys. I'm not sure about this. But you do have to hop up. It's not exactly the most usable thing ever, but it is modern, and that's what really matters. We'll double layer it, maybe. <laughs> and then you've got serious modernity on the inside. Look at that. Don't know if that's good or not. Okay, so this is where the sweet berry farm is at, and it's actually almost complete. I, I put buttons on the front of the barrels, but I'm actually going to go make some tripwire hooks because I think they're going to look like little wine barrel taps. And then on top, I think I'm just going to put more trap doors to give this a little bit more height up in the middle. The furnished room doesn't feel right. The indented area doesn't feel right. I want to get some gray concrete, but it's really expensive, dude. And I'm going to try to put one down here. What I'm trying to do here, guys, is create this like circle shape on the inside that like highlights this back wall. But the stair and the ground comes kind of in the way here. So this now needs to be pushed back so you can see it better. And that's also the wrong color. There's a lot of issues here, guys. This is the most challenging build I've ever made. I'm not going to lie to you. Is that weird? <laughs> I feel like that's very strange. Uh, I guess we got to push the floor back even more. Well, 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 do I have 
really struggling here. All right, so this is our newly improved basement area. So now when you walk down, at least the staircase comes down and this framing kind of makes a little more sense now. I'll put a little bit more of a gray in here. That should look even better. But getting it to look good without messing with the outside is like extremely difficult. I already know that it's going to impact the mine. Like that is not right. That does not look good to me. So I don't know how I'm going to solve that. And the inside is still freaking odd. I don't know how to do the stairs. I'm struggling, guys. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make money by the end of today's video. I might let Isaac down because he's killing it out there with his old fashioned looking stuff. I want to start on a grand fountain out front of this building. I went ahead and claimed the land that was unclaimed right in front of the base. And I'm going to get working on a nice little fountain. It's not going to be huge because I don't want to overshadow the base, but also I think it's going to make the base look a whole lot better. What if that's what we do? Since all this is, is meant to be a giant furnace from the outside. What if we actually turn this into a two way glass fireplace? If I just simply go in here, actually, I could just put netherrack on it. I don't want it to be too high though. That looks better on the inside. Okay. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Then in the center, we'll add glass like that. That looks, see, now it looks like a really modern fireplace. Then on the outside, all we have to do is make it continue to look like it belongs here. And by doing that, all we have to do is cover up the netherrack so you can't see it, in my opinion. If I put the full block down, this blocks another rack. And now it looks like this really sick outdoor cooking place. Well, on the inside, it becomes a modern fireplace. I do like the gray. So if I take this out, add a gray border here, not only is it going to look maybe cool or bad, but it will maybe pull this build together a little bit. There you go. So you get this nice little like lining right here that just helps you see it. Without that there, you don't even know there's a step. There you go, folks. Look at that. Brings you right on downstairs to your very nice modern viewing area. We're getting some progress. All right, that's what counts. There we go. Here is the Grand Fountain. I mean, this looks pretty incredible. It's exactly center with the front door. Now I just need to get the diorite fountain in the middle. To me, this feels kind of like a little back door, kind of like blocking it off like that. And then we'll pop the crafting table down in the corner. So like, you know how rich people always got to hide all their appliances in their house. You go there and everything's hidden. Like they're freaking refrigerators behind a door. That's what the idea is here. You've got your little private storage room down here. I don't even know why I made this. I'm gonna be real honest with you. Oh, right. I made it because I wanted a crafting table. So I wanted to make some of these bad boys because I think the composters are going to look really bussing when y'all see what I'm done with. 170 bucks a pop. That's not too bad. Pop that in there. See, then you're walking into modern world. And I don't think this pillar really serves any purpose being here at this moment and bring down a little more consistency. I hate to say it, but y'all could triple deck up the plants right here. I mean, we could pop in with another right there. You can't overdo it with these as far as I'm concerned. So what I'm doing now is creating iron nuggets so that I can create chains. And then I need these. What I'd like to do is create one of those like nice little things you see on the movies where people have swings inside their home. Something like that. All right, bring it down. But I is that too close to the window? And then this roof is all slabs here. Is it going to look bad if I come back later and put it as white concrete, like a full block? There you go. Two swings to swing on on the inside of your mansion and look outside. That right there is primo big money, fat, fat, rich boy. What I also want to do here is in some rich modern interior bases, they have like giant, really tall roofs. I want to make the roof go up all the way to the top and have like plants go all the way. So like maybe like we create this like three by three tower that goes straight up to the top. Like I can make a really tall bamboo shoot right here, go straight up. Let's bring all 64 bamboo shoots and let's try to plant these and see. I think it might work. It might, it might, I don't know. So when I put these with slabs back here and kind of shrink it down just a little bit, now you've got bamboo growing into your roof from the inside. It's some weird thing that I feel like a rich person would do. All right, the fountain is now done. This took like so long of trial and edit, but I think it's to a point where I'm pretty happy. It fills the space nicely. So the only thing left to do on this fountain is actually to dig out the floor here and replace it with diorite. And I should have enough, I'm hoping, because I don't want to have to go buy more of this stuff. It is just so weird to get. All right, it looks like we're going to have plenty of this polished diorite to finish up the floor. In fact, we are already done and the fountain is now complete, but now it is kind of elevated a little bit weird. So I'm going to try to get some dirt around it. I almost feel like it could open wider, a lot more natural light in and up. And then around the edge, we could go in with some glass panes. I like it. I know, feel like it's probably the uncommon thing to like, but that's kind of fun, man. All right, let's get some more crazy modern ideas here. All right, so I have done some work on this base, guys. Now, Loverfella, I believe, is still working on the lower floor of the base. What do you think, Isaac? What do you think? I'm not going to lie to you. I'm struggling. I think this little gray accent here, though, really pulled it together. I mean, that looks really good. Thank you. And what do you think of this art piece? Is there any way to get rid of the grass at the bottom? I don't know. I don't want the roof to all also be too low. So it's going to be a little bit lower here, right above this section. And then it's going to actually get a little bit taller. We're going to move to slabs right past this section. And I think that's going to look kind of cool. And I see this little corner right here, and I feel like it is perfect for another little offshoot of the path. We might build a little storage shack out here in between the two builds all that we've already done. All right, here comes a little bit more of that expensive white concrete, which is costing me everything that I own. I do think that looks really cool. How's it look from the upstairs? It looks pretty good up here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave the wood. And what I'm going to do instead, 
that is replace it with a little bit of gray or maybe more white right here to create another interesting design that extends the roof down. This will be fun. Now I want to keep the aesthetic of the other build right here. So they use mostly oak logs. So that's what we're going to do for the new little storage building on the outside. All right, I am speed building this storage shed right now. I mean, we're going to have three builds completed before Loverfella gets his single project done. I feel like maybe we should be petitioning for more of the profits on this base because we are really carrying the entire outside of this thing. Oh my God, I'm placing all these slabs wrong. I got to rebuild this a hundred times. It's just so I can place the concrete down. Let's see how this ends up looking. It's kind of a risk here. So from up here, it's definitely weird. It needs to definitely go all the way. I'll tell you that right now. Still weird, but let's see how it looks down here now when I clean this up. I believe that is actually kind of sick looking. You've got this like nice little wood in between that kind of throws back to when the base was first built. You've then got a cool little detail up there. And then really the last thing I would do is just end it up with a little bit of white on this edge. And how would that end up looking if I filled that in? Would that look good? Yes, sir, it would. Yes, sir, it would. I think we have found the ticket to the ultimate cool looking modern roof on the inside of a non-modern base. Now, some would say I completely ruined the base by doing this, but what I really want to do is see how the outside looks. Because guys, if we can sell this for enough money, make a unique enough base, I'm going to be able to buy the creeper spawner to finally make money on my firework shop. Now, I will say it looks shocking on the outside. Matter of fact, I think we need to do some serious detailing on the outside as well because it doesn't quite look right to me. The inside looks pretty sick, to be honest. Looking in there, I like that a lot. He's building a whole other house out there. Jeez, bro. I think for the floor, we are also going to go with spruce logs because it'll add a nice little contrast to the walls to have a little bit of a darker floor. So, um, so the only thing left to do now is to basically add the windows and then get the roof looking right so it doesn't just look like this flat piece of garbage that it is now. This can probably go. This whole entire pillar right here just serves to hold the house up. But on a modern house, you don't need anything like this, do you? Get ourselves a little more gray concrete here. And I was never a fan of these windows either. So what I would like to do is maybe take our gray concrete. I don't know. This might look weird. Maybe I'll take it all the way up to that. There's definitely something there. I guess the window could be taller though and balance that a little. All right. And the roof is now complete. I feel like we went super tall with it, but the actual house that we're building from is also super tall. Okay. And let's go down and take a look at our new building and its new roof. Wow. That looks absolutely terrible. We have to tear down the whole top. That absolutely sucks. I'm going in with the stairs this time. Maybe the stairs are going to make a difference. All right. So uh, I still don't love it. It's taken me an immense amount of time. I created a giant white square there, a giant gray square there. I'm trying to add some like modern lines on the inside, but it's very difficult without completely damaging the outside, which we've kind of done in a few places already. Isaac, this is the most impossible inside I've ever done in my life. You're building an entire base, huh? Yeah. Well, you know, I just keep building out here, Zach, because you're clearly not going to be helping today. Uh, you've been inside the base the whole time. Yeah, it's been it's been awful. And what I'm going to say about that is I need help, but also the outside needs some details. The thing is, Zach, I think on the edge here, I left it grass so you can plant some really high grass to hide the windows, you know? We could do bamboo. What do you think about bamboo? Yeah, you know, I thought about that, but I think maybe you'll have to put some string on it so it doesn't just grow to the very top. We'll do bamboo. We'll let it grow. We'll chop it down and string it up. We can let these bad boys grow, but I still feel like the building itself is lacking detail in an immense way. You know, to be able to pull this off with without damaging the outside is borderline impossible. It was your vision and I don't want to take this, this vision away from team. you. This is a team. This is a team sport, Isaac. I mean, it looks pretty good in here. I don't know why you're panicking. I'm not panicking. I'm just saying it needs more. I don't know. This needs to go a little higher. What I'm trying to do here is just add some little details here. The outside's so flat. It just doesn't feel good to me. Uh, we could go all the way around like this on the edge. I mean, that would definitely clean it up some. Yeah, that's that alone is a massive difference breaker. It splits the house up in a way that really makes it feel good. Look at that. And then out here by the fireplace, even though we have like a walkway, I think it'd be cool if this actually kind of transformed into a seating area. And instead of having the path like go right through the center, it's going to lead you to an outdoor fire pit. So the idea was that it would lead you here. And then I'd like place down a couple of logs and make it like a little bit of like a fun little bonfire area. I don't know. I think maybe just one seat's going to be good for now. Like, and I really want to say this does feel like it could be a pool on the inside. I feel like we need some sort of water. The more I look at that, the more I keep saying that should probably be a pool. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to see if I can maybe turn this into an underground indoor pool. And that might look really sick or it might look really bad. Who knows? About the practicality of it all. I'm not sure that walking down a staircase right into the water is the best way to set this up. So uh, we'll do a little tweak to it, a little something. All right, the new roof is complete. I kept it a lot more simple, but I think it fits the actual aesthetic of the build a lot better now. And considering this is supposed to be the storage building, I'm gonna go ahead and make an absurd amount of chests. 16, I mean, we did work today. It is time to fix up the inside somehow. All right, I don't know what has happened in here, but some, I don't, we have a swimming pool. What do you think? I, do, we, do I like this more or 
worse. Are you gonna put little stepping stools? I think so. I was trying to feel like this needs to be like their super private area to chill in, like mega luxurious. And all I really have to do then is switch the staircase direction and then it makes a little more sense. What do you think of that? That's pretty clean, dude. Now that you're switching the staircase, I like it more. Yeah. I've come to check in from outside. I'm ready for some inside duty if you're ready for some outside duty. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm doing outside duty. You're taking inside duty. We're looking there, my friend. I don't know. Now from the outside, that looks a lot better. This corner though is still kind of hurting me a little bit here. Get ourselves a little flowering azalea. These are pretty cheap. Now I want to get them some trimmed hedges. 10,000, well, I think this will look worth it. That looks infinitely better. And then right in the back, we'll open it up in the exact center. That way you can, you know, comfortably leave if you were to walk in. I would say the rest of the hedges then would probably be best served if they were placed around this area. It definitely adds some nice detail to it. I feel like it's really cool how it kind of like surrounds the area in hedges, but it's gonna look even better if I wrap it all the way around and kind of make it so there's only one way in and one way out. All right, so now you've got your actual sweet berry farming zone out here, which looks cool. But one thing that I think really sucks is like this whole back area here, or really the their backyard or lack thereof backyard is, is just non-existent. They have nothing back here worth having. I think I can actually put down some dirt here, do a little bit of landscaping. So that way it's not floating. It's going to look a little cleaner. So by doing that, we then have the opportunity to maybe bring in some staircases down into a actual backyard. And since we're going guys for this very non-modern exterior, I want to make sure I keep that the way it is. So I got this idea to create a very nature inspired backyard that uses stone, dirt, basically cobblestone, nothing really too crazy, but make it look like this very nice rustic exterior space. So, so I'm going to go ahead and intermix some steps uh, along with some slabs. Kind of give it like a fun little vibe. So it'll be a little taller than others like that. And then going back to our chest room back in the main base, back at hometown, we can bring over some dirt to fill in the rest of it. I'm not going to lie to you. That looks way better. So now that we've done some terraforming here, uh, let's use a bunch of stairs to try to create a little garden shape. So what I'm trying to give it is a very natural kind of organic shape as if there was like a bunch of boulders here in their backyard, kind of like stacked up to create this like wall of just rocks and stuff that would be here. Then we come in with our shovel, random spots all over. Trust the process, guys. Trust the process. This is going to come out looking really cool. I'm not going to overdo it, but I'll put a couple sweet berries around the edge on the interior here. And then I'm also going to go around the exterior and hit it with a couple as well. A couple of composters just randomly placed throughout the back. It's going to give it more of a little farmer feel. See, what I like about that is it becomes like a little tiny babbling brook in your yard. We can use a couple of these to create some very nice little comfortable stairs looking at the water. We're going to put some buttons on the ground. These kind of represent like little sticks and twigs that would have fallen off from the trees, something like that. A couple plants. And I do have my giant conservatory, but uh, all the flowers don't really reproduce, so I'm not going to bring any over. I will, though, bring over a couple mushrooms, a couple roses, a couple of these bad boys I think will look really good back here. Mushrooms. Wow, it only fits in, like in this one location back here because it's actually dark enough, which is... And then the roses. Wow. What did he just do in there? And then I also put in this little sweet looking swimming pool bar fireplace sit down place. Zach just blew something up. I'm going to check that out right now. All right, well, take a look what I made. Yeah, no, just a little nature zone. I'm like, they need to have the modern inside and then the super nice outside if you're going to have a house like this. Let's see the old upstairs here, folks, that Isaac's added to our base. Now, Zach, I had to redo the staircase and I added a little swimming pool bar. Um, that does work. Look at that. We can sit down and enjoy the fireplace. That is phenomenal. Oh my God. A swim up basement bar. And then upstairs stairs. You know, this is kind of just a hangout area. We got two snow couches though, and I did make it look all modern. So that was my, my goal. Where are the windows? Uh, there are no windows on the front or back. Cause this is all roof up here. I feel like I'm in a actual torture psychologist chamber. Like I feel like I've been locked away in a crazy man. I'm in a loony bin. Listen, all it needs is some hanging shelves, which is what you can't even go through the door. What are you talking about? You can't go dude. That door's not supposed to be. That's only an outside door, man. This is the interior. Get rid of that. Bro, this is not your best work. What I don't like downstairs Zach, is how you can still see the cobblestone. That's what makes it fun because then it like kind of brings together new and old. It's supposed to be like, look at that. Look at that. It looks worse. No, because now you can see the wood. I don't like that. That's what we like. New and old. That looks so much better. I'm getting out of here. If you want to do that, you can do that. I think you, you just, just ruined, ruined it. it. My new set of eyes are telling me that I need to make a pool right over here. What I think we'll do is something like this. I went and got a bunch of flower pots and we are going to go basically flower pot up everywhere that we see. And I'm thinking that we put flower pots on every single exposed log. All right, so we're gonna do a double layer multi-wide deck right here. It's gonna walk all the way around by lining it like this and then placing some slabs at the bottom. We can just turn the center of this into our giant, beautiful, absolutely grandiose pool here. Bring this all the way back around town. Use a super breaker to chop that immediately and get some more blocks and then bam, bam, bam. So it's basically the exact width of the home. This Olympic size swimming pool is gonna be an absolute flex to literally every single person out there in the entire world that this guy ends up meeting, all right? 
right we have the mine cart just to give the little mining shaft an actual use you can actually get on the mine cart now and i went and got a bell i think i got this from a village a long time ago and now the house has a doorbell when you walk in and i feel like we should hang the lanterns a little bit further down with some iron chain right here so we're going to put the chains and then we'll put the lanterns below that and then that's going to give it even more detail on the front makes it look a lot more rustic with the mine now we make the pool a little bit deeper because i'm going to have a deep end and a shallow end which is something i've personally never seen before in all of my minecraft okay. days of playing so now it kind of has like an actual deep end a lot of the interiors of pools that i've seen have like colored bottoms whether they're white or blue or even black so for ours i'm gonna just use white concrete because it sort of matches but it's not so modern that it looks weird oh my gosh a creeper just almost exploded on the azalea bush that would have been a disaster i gotta get out of here oh he's climbing how's he climbing i'm gonna put him in a hole though okay line him up that is some high level skill Minecraft right there, guys. For now, I'm just going to cover him up with some trap doors. Maybe we'll drop Loverfella in there later. Okay, officially the new goal, I'm going to drop Loverfella in this. Right now, I'm going to go get him. All right, I'm just going to have to go down in there. Yes, sir. Come with me right now, Zach. I have an emergency. Emergency. Let's see what's up. Sprint over here as fast as possible. I'm coming. What, do we have neighbors? Not only have neighbors, Zach, stand on these trap doors. What is this? Dang it! What? It almost worked. Bro, tried to just randomly blow me up. All right, I almost had him. Nice try. But you know what? We do have a cool looking creeper. Maybe we just name him now and then the future owners can have a named creeper on their property. I'm going to get him back later for that. But I think that this is going to come out being like one of the actual cleanest pools you're ever going to see in Minecraft. Because like when you base it off of like real life stuff, I feel like it ends up looking a little nicer. I I'm worried, man. I'm always worried I won't make the money back. But today specifically, I don't know. Like this is a very expensive build and I don't know if people will realize how much I've actually spent on designing this. Bro, that's sick though. What I really kind of want to do here is like impress Isaac with a massive pool because I don't think he realized I was going to make like an actual like mega legit pool. I think he thought it was just going to be something dumb and simple. Bro, I need like one more. That looks better. Now all we have to do is go through and get all these walls and turn these to uh, something that looks a little better than this. I don't want to keep the wood all the way down because I feel like wood's going to get a little moldy down here. A little cobblestone down there never hurt anybody, guys. So let's go ahead and pop down some cob on the bottom. This is going to come out looking phenomenal. All right, so I'm pretty sure that this is going to be a swimming pool, but my goodness, is that a deep end right there? Welcome, sir. Just taking a look at the pools. I mean, what? Are you building an Olympic high jump pool? Yes, it is a high jump pool. It's actually an Olympic size swimming pool with an actual deep end that you can swim in. Yeah, how are you going to fill this thing with water now that you've dug it deep? That's what I want to know. That's not going to be my problem. All right. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get this double layered. Got to get the deck on the edge here because getting a nice looking deck is what all the neighbors are going to be envious of. You got one of these bad boys? Well, guess what? I'm jealous of you. I feel like it's a little bit dangerous the way I got this set up here. This like giant cliff here you'd fall off of. So, all right, that makes it feel a little safer. And then as the grass spreads, it'll look better. And I could kind of go through this and I think just plant a whole bunch of flowers on this. Maybe we'll go in and pop a little spruce. We'll leave it like that. And then we'll make this a uh, little path. And then all we'd have to do to really seal the deal here is a double layer right there, some moss on the ground. And then bam, a very nice private walkway. Avoid the bushes and you're here to your own little private oasis. All right, I feel like the outside is really well detailed now. We've just basically been going around and improving everything. But last time Loverfella said that he really didn't like the upstairs. So I am gonna detail up the upstairs just a little bit more. And then maybe his opinion of this room will change. All right, let's get some fancy seats out here, some umbrella tables. Let's make this thing look bussin'. It's not just a crafting table. It's a romantic dinner for two. I got a bunch of glowstone as well from all my mining, and I believe this will look phenomenal down here in the ground. Let's go ahead and make an outdoor barbecue area. Right here seems pretty fresh to me. Kind of like a little grilling station here where you can come in, do what you need to do, pop down a nice piece of wood there in the corner. A little iron trap door right here. Feels like that kind of looks more like a grill. Oh, definitely got to have a smoker out here, bro. You can't be having a grilling zone without a smoker. Then I've got carpet, and these are going to look like little beach towels that are kind of just sitting along the side here. Just kind of randomly disperse them. You know, it doesn't really matter. You got to have some money to have this many rose plants in your home. I mean, you literally got to be absolutely loaded with cash to be able to afford this. We do have to fill the pool with water. I don't know how exactly I'm going to pull that off still, but uh, I do have a couple buckets here. So what better time to start than the present? Am I right, guys? Let's, uh, let's do this. So I think if I simply go around it like this... A few moments later. All right, after a intense amount of time, we have finally managed to get the pool to actually look like a pool. And then if you are a wealthy individual, you're definitely gonna have a gate. All right, when it comes to walking into your pool. So we're gonna go ahead and make ourselves a gate or two. I wanted to, I've had this vision. The gate goes right here. A couple of composters as well goes a really long way and just telling a beautiful story here. Pop that down. All we need now is just a little bit of lighting, just a little mood lighting, here. a little something right here. That is looking fantastic. Maybe a little love, love candle right here. And now there's a little bit more we could do. 
by going back to our chest room. Although a bed could be useful at some point. Pretty much nothing. All right, we're coming back with a bed. This is gonna be an outdoor lounger, okay? So it looked like this. I'm trying to like base it off of like sometime when I've been to the beach and I've seen these. You get a little bed here. And then to be honest with you, it's usually surrounded by some sort of like a cabana. And really I should change the color to white. I feel like it should be a white bed. If I put two white beds down, it's gonna look like one big fancy white bed, just like that. Go around the edge like this. And then all we need to do is craft an immense number of sticks. Take these sticks, craft them into an even more immense number of rails and then create ourselves a nice little beach cabana right over here. I feel like I made it look 10 times worse. So I'm just going to call this done for now. And then I assume Loverfell is going to come up here, call it trash and then redo it. So my goodness, does the swimming pool look good from up here though? Look at that. Oh, look, that is adding a little poolside cabana. I am a big fan of that. What do you like? That's a high dollar item right there. It is floating off the side there though. Oh, we'll get that cleaned up. I like it. I think you need to maybe get some umbrellas in here and it's going to be looking good. All right. Finally, to wrap this thing up, you don't want to be falling off your wealthy cabana. Now we want to get this floating patch cleaned up because Isaac unfortunately saw it. So um, here we go. All right, a little bit of a floating corner there, but it's not too noticeable, I wouldn't say. Isaac said he wanted a couple of uh, umbrellas. It feels to me like this side is the one that's lacking. So problem is I need string to really pull this off. So I'm going to go ahead and just use slabs like a loser. Uh, Definitely not my prettiest umbrella, but gets the job done, I'd say, nonetheless. And then underneath it, we'll put ourselves a nice little lounger right here. This now, I would say, is a fully functional pool area. But before we actually sell this space, there's still other sides that we need to clean up. And the most important important thing I need to clean up, guys, is the biggest challenge of them all, the interior that Isaac made yesterday. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, <laughs> oh, God. What is he doing? Like the couch in here, it's just none of it's functional. And I hope he doesn't mind that I absolutely decimate everything that he's done. Just obliterate it. This is like our fifth revision. I don't know why he doesn't want to be able to see outside. Why do we have curtains everywhere? I don't understand the thought process behind this. All right, so I like the walls. I like the structures we have there. We're going to go back to the floating staircase design, which to me looked infinitely better than this. All right, so the wall has been extended by one. This extension of the wall makes it so this floating staircase is more difficult to pull off. So what I'm going to do is move the floating staircase over one, and it's going to actually be floating. Now we can get a much larger interior space here. What's up, big dog? This looks like trash. Let me do my thing. I love these floating stairs. I think this looks better. I don't know what he's talking about. This is going to actually turn into a minor bedroom because there's no functionality to this house right now. And that's my biggest issue with it. Maybe some chests. I mean, we obviously do need these somewhere in here, but I want them somewhere kind of that's out of the way that doesn't look bad. So, oh, another window we've lost. What I think I could do is place down some chests here. A nice little carpet right in front of it to add a little coziness to it as well. These pots to me are going to sell these window sills and make these look so much better. I don't want to overdo it. Let's go ahead and buy some red flowers. Red there, red there, red there, red there. All right, we actually had 32 of these bad boys in my base still from previous episodes. So these can now go in the center and it's going to look so much better with end rods now for lighting. And the same thing downstairs. I want more of these end rods down here because I think they're going to bring the area together more and make it pop. And what is going on here? There's definitely some weird stuff on my ceiling design going on. I don't really know what Isaac did to this. And then it doesn't feel super homey yet because there's not a great interior carpet. I think we're going to get black as well. Uh, I kind of like this. This is a very interesting uh, design here. So it's just supposed to give you like a really modern vibe and feel, but I don't know if I did this corner right. I'm trying to think about this mathematically. Bro, I like that, like a little T. Bro, I actually think this could be actually kind of a sick looking carpet. It really draws your attention and we'll seal off that door. That is a no need door anymore. You can't even go through the door. That's only an outside door, man. This is the interior. Bro, this is not your best work. And I do want to add just a little bit more carpet downstairs as well with a new pattern. You know what? Actually, guys, I'm, I'm trying to overcomplicate this. I think this is going to look really good here as just a very simple elongated gray welcome mat right here. Like that. Is that too big? Black looks a little better too. Maybe we could do a little something over here as well with a little design that reveals some of the old wood. Little highlight pieces. I'll do another here. I think these are actually really sick. Like to me, these feel like really weird, like wall details, like wall sconces that I've learned from watching all the house flipping shows I watch. I love that. We've got the interesting bamboo that kind of comes up, except it doesn't come up as much as I'd like because again, and the wall's been pushed in from what Isaac did. And so this bamboo here doesn't even go up the way that I'd like it to. So this entire build now needs to be pushed over one more. Small thing, but guys, our future buyers will notice. Place the bamboo place these. Now that bamboo can freely grow actually all the way up to the roof and give you that like two layer story thing as you look down. Let's see if there's anything else I can add guys in the shop. A couple modern paintings. Ah, bookshelves. I think just downstairs kind of placing the bookshelf and then like maybe getting a nice modern painting above it would come out pretty well like that. Oh, that looks nice. Isaac, how are we looking down there, buddy? All right, Zach, I'm coming in the front door. Show me what you've done. All right, we've totally revamped it by making sure the entire interior is now usable. We've got indented wall sconces with chests. We've got modern lighting. We've revamped with flower pots, added more windows, and we've kept that feel of that grungy exterior while reminding you that on the inside, it's all luxury from here. Miss the snow furniture, I'm just being honest. Guys, drop a comment down below with which version you like better. If anyone picks Isaac, I think you're crazy. But Isaac, show me what you've done. We're building a blacksmith table. 
Oh, oh, that's actually sick. I love this. And it's now time to get this on the market and try to sell it. Selling insane modern and non-modern contemporary base. That is how you freaking advertise. Dude, I feel like you went way too complicated with that. Half the people don't even know what those words are. Let's get some freaking rich people here, guys. If I say selling no brokies, hopefully we get someone to take it. I gotta be honest, the base itself is not a huge base, Isaac, you know, but the outskirts of it are a lot. You don't see this too often. Listen, we have sold much worse for much more. Someone said how much? A man with skill, 544K. Oh my God, we're not getting any deals. Bro, it costs us more than that just to put down the material to build this thing. Well, let's get another TP out there, Isaac, see if we can get a little trade. Bring him in. Whoa, whoa, we got two ranks here. Blue Fi coming in with uh, 114K. We got Void something, uh, 7 million. Yo, you'd look so good in this base. You'd be the coolest player on the network. Yeah, they're saying, how is this a mansion? They're roasting us. What I'm learning, guys, is that if you put your time into building landscaping, people don't actually like it. What they really like is a base. Billy Joel offers 1.6 million full netherite. Zach, sell the base right now. Sold. I'll do it for 1.6, Billy Joel. You look like an absolute idiot, by the way, this guy, but I'm gonna do it. Dude, do not insult him, dude. All right, I'm not saying it to him, I'm just saying. No, you know what, no. I think he's a, he's a smart man. He's an intelligent investor. Come on, dude. Guys, Billy Joel just sent me 1.6 million dollars for this base. And so guys, we'll see you next week where we try to create the best money-making business of all time. I'll see you guys there. Peace.